All right, guys, now I'm going to show you how to tie this slide trace that I caught that shark on. First of all, I'm just going to show you the components. When fishing a Mazeppa, I use 250 pound Fishmate carbon coated. And the one sneaky little trick down a Mazeppa, the Yamashita pink skirt works really, really well. I like my slide trace to be about a meter long. So, obviously, because you're tying knots and stuff, get about 1.2, 1.3 meters. I'm just going to unroll it. All right, now that I've got my wire cut, I'm going to start off tying off my bottom hook. The bottom hook is actually it's variable with the length because you always tie it you wrap it around and cut it off and it changes but when you adjust my second hook you'll see now it's always fixed if i want it there it'll stay there but you'll see what i mean in a second okay, what i do is i put it around there and don't be too skint and put a short piece rather longer than shorter it's just easy to work with wrap it around one and a half times around the shank okay then what you do is you push it through the opposite way see how it's coming out the opposite way you must do it that way that. Now don't pull it tight, what I do is I wrap it over, this is not how I'd normally do it, obviously I'm trying to show you guys, so it's wrap it over like that. Okay, let me go down and, and get some, some leverage here. Okay, the trick here is to pull the tag in. Now the tag in is one with the plier. You keep this one taut, but you pull the tag in. That is the trick, otherwise it kinks your main line. Right, now that I've got that done, you can leave it in the smaller sizes, your 90 pound, 60 pound, 40 pound, you can leave it like that and cut off and it will never come, to, come undone. And that probably won't come undone either. But it's not the neatest and with sliding you don't want any little tag ends hanging out because it can grab your main line. You want it as neat as possible because when it slides out, if a wave knocks it over, that little tag end catches and it's just not going to slide all the way out. And what I do is I get this and you wrap it around at 90 degrees. You keep the main one tight and just wrap this one around. Now we're gonna put on the top hook, all right? The wire must go through the back of the hook like that. You're gonna slide the hook down. The reason I said earlier on about being fixed, because I can, if I want this hook, they're not there, it's there. If I want it there, it'll be there. It's, it's exactly where you put it. When you're sliding heads and chuckle in like that, I like my hooks facing two opposite ways. That's gonna go out, it's gonna come out the, the mouth, and that's gonna come out the belly. So you got them facing two, two different ways. Generally, I don't like to go too far because if you get one there in the, in the shark's mouth, one in his peck fin, or somewhere in the other side of the jaw, that can break or it can open your hook. So, on average, I probably leave them about that far apart. Right. So now I want it there, so I peg it there. See what I'm doing now? You see how it's coming out? And I take it around like that, and I wrap it around. Now, there's no set time. I'll do like four times, I see Dean does it about six times. Wrap around tight, so you must hold it tight like that. And then I take the end of the wire and I push it through. It must come out this way. Now I'll show you why it must come out this way. So you pull it there, gently, smoothly, no kinking. Job done. Because when you, the reason you do that, it makes the hook proud. If you do it the other way around, the hook's gonna do that. You want it as proud as possible, because you want to jam it, you want to jam it in the corner of the mouth. And that's it. Put that on a, around a door handle, a burglar guard, or a bus, and I can just pull a tighter, but generally that's perfect. All right, guys, well, there you have it. That's how you make a, a slide trace. Job done.